Banking in India, Structure and Trends We all know that a banker or a bank is a financial institution which performs as a primary activity and acts as a payment agent for customers to borrow and lend money. In this lesson, we will learn regarding the Reserve Bank of India, Merchant Banking and the Commercial Banking. After going through this presentation, you should be able to describe Reserve Bank of India, explain the role of RBI and Merchant Banker, learn the services of Merchant Banking, understand the commercial banks, know the challenges for banking. Reserve Bank of India, RBI, is the central bank of the country, which was established in April 1935 with a share capital of Rs 5 crores and was nationalized in the year 1949. RBI was established on the basis of the recommendations of the Hilton Young Commission. Reserve Bank of India was constituted for the need of the issue of banknotes to maintain reserves with a view to securing monetary stability and to operate the credit and currency system of the country to its advantage. The role of RBI is to standardize the issue of banknotes and maintenance of reserves with a view to securing monetary stability in India, generally to operate prevalence and credit system of the country to its advantage. The bank has the sole right to issue the banknotes of all denominations under Section 22 of the Reserve Bank of India Act. The Reserve Bank has a separate issue department which is entrusted with the issue of currency notes. The Reserve Bank has the obligation to transact government business, to keep the cash balances as deposits free of interest, to receive and to make payments on behalf of the government and to carry out their exchange remittances and other banking operations. The Reserve Bank of India acts as the banker's bank and can be called as a lender of the last resort because commercial banks can always expect the Reserve Bank of India to come to their help in times of banking crisis. The Reserve Bank of India is said to be the controller of credit because it has the power to influence the volume of credit created by banks in India. The Reserve Bank has certain non-monetary functions of the nature of supervision of banks and promotion of sound banking in India. In addition to its traditional central banking functions, Reserve Bank's functions has steadily widened with the economic growth and after independence. Merchant banks are financial institutions that specialize in acceptance of bills of exchange, higher purchase, installment buying, international trade financing, long-term loans, investment and portfolio management. Merchant banking may be defined as an institution that covers a wide range of activities such as management of customer services, portfolio management, credit syndication, acceptance credit, counseling, insurance, etc. Merchant banks expand into the field of securities underwriting focus on small-scale companies and offer creative equity financing, bridge and mezzanine financing, provide service to small and medium institutes. Investment banks participate in trade financing activities, focus on IPOs, initial public offerings and large public and private share offerings, provide service to larger institutions. Merchant banking originated when the London merchants entered into financing foreign trade through acceptance of bills. Later, the merchants assisted the governments of underdeveloped countries in raising long-term funds through flotation of bonds in the London money market. Project counseling includes preparation of project reports, deciding upon the financing pattern appraising the project related to its technical, commercial and financial viability and also includes filling up forms, 
for obtaining funds from financial institutions. Loan syndication assistance is rendered to raise loans for projects after determining promoter's contribution. These can also be obtained from single institution or a consortium. Issue management involves marketing of corporate securities, that is, equity shares, preference shares and debentures. Two main activities in issue management, pre-issue activities and post-issue activities. Underwriting of public issues in insurance to the company which makes public issues. Raising external resources becomes easy if the issues are backed by well-known underwriters. Portfolio management refers to investment in shares, debentures issued by different companies. Careful blend and combination of assets involves proper combination of securities in such a manner that they give maximum returns. Investors are interested in safety, liquidity and profitability. Merchant banks help their investors in choosing the shares. NRI Investment NRI has to follow a lot of complicated rules for investing in shares in India. Merchant bankers help them in choosing the shares and also provide expert advice fulfilling government norms and regulations. Thus, they provide more resources for corporate sector. Advisory services relating to mergers and takeovers. Merger means combination of two or more companies. Here, one survives while other loses its existence. Takeover is the purchase by one company and acquiring controlling interest in the share capital of another company. Merchant banks act as middlemen between the offerer and the offeree. Offshore finance is the long-term foreign currency loans, joint ventures abroad, financing exports and imports, and foreign collaboration arrangement. Managers, consultants or advisors to the issue. SEBI insists that all issues be managed by at least one authorized merchant banker. For an issue of 100 crores, a maximum of four merchant banks are appointed. They help in listing of shares in stock exchange, completion of formalities under Companies Act, etc. Commercial banks are in the commerce of providing banking services to individuals, small businesses and large organizations. A commercial bank is a type of financial intermediary bank. Commercial banking is also known as business banking. It is a bank that provides checking accounts, savings account and money market accounts and that accepts time deposit. Commercial bank activities are processing of payments by way of telegraphic transfer, EFT pass, internet banking or other means. These banks can issue bank drafts and bank checks, accept money on term deposit and lend money by overdraft, installment loan or other means. Public sector banks are the ones in which the government has a major holding. They are divided into two groups, that is, nationalized banks and State Bank of India and its associates. Private sector banks have good technology for handling transactions and also offer attractive products. But it cannot be said that corporate governance and risk management are far superior to that of the public sector banks. City Bank is the foreign bank. Aryavart Grameen Bank is regional ruler bank. The Indian banking is likely to face challenges in implementation of Basel II, enhancing corporate governance, alignment of regulatory and accounting requirements, outsourcing risk and application of advanced technology. In order to meet the future challenges, the banks need to focus on appropriate capacity building measures to equip their staff to handle advanced risk management systems and supervisors also need to equip themselves with appropriate skills including skill to, to check attrition by motivating staff and retaining them. The banks need to identify their priority areas and set goal posts 
and the training division should identify training needs to achieve the objectives set by the bank. The cash credit system may be replaced by demand loans, overdrafts or working capital term loans. The collection of checks or bill business may vanish with the introduction of check truncation system. The increase in the number of private banks, the domestic credit market of India is estimated to grow from US dollar 0.4 trillion in 2004 to US dollar 23 trillion by 2050. The Indian banks are hopeful of becoming a global brand as they are the major source of financial sector revenue and profit growth. Now let us see how much you have learned till now. State whether the following statements are true or false. Commercial banking is an institution that covers a wide range of activities such as management of customer services, portfolio management, etc. False. Central bank is also called investment bank. False. Underwriting is a guarantee given by the underwriter that in the event of undersubscription, the amount underwritten would be subscribed by him. True. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied so far. A banker or bank is a financial institution whose primary activity is to act as a payment agent for customers and to borrow and lend money. Merchant banking assumes diverse functions in different countries. Thus, merchant banking may be defined as an institution that covers a wide range of activities such as management of customer services, portfolio management, credit syndication, acceptance credit, counseling, insurance, etc. Commercial banking is also known as business banking. It is a bank that provides checking accounts, savings account and money market account and that accepts time deposits. Commercial bank refers to a bank or a division of a bank primarily dealing with deposits and loans from corporations or large businesses. Private sector banks have good technology for handling transaction and also offer attractive products. But it cannot be said that corporate governance and risk management are far superior to that of the public sector banks. The primary purpose of the banking supervision is to protect the interest of the depositors in the banking system and empirical studies have established that the quality and training of supervisory personnel is an important determinant of the overall process.